Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Pat Lawson. And uh, I want to say sorry I'm running late because uh, I know I've been ran out of ideas of what I'm supposed to be doing, of course. But um, actually, I just like finish it up for you know for my editing and stuff. But I'll probably gonna do some more editing next time, um, just for fun, just in case. So. Yeah, but, um, but, um, I'll probably do one reaction videos for right by now, so I'm sorry if I'm running so late, because in case you don't know, um, I'm going to be reacting to, uh, sorry, reacting to, uh, Rain Yarn 20 Anniversary on WWE Raw, so in case you don't know, um, I've been knowing Rain Yarn for like a year, like many years, man. Cause you know, um, you know, the Lesson Killer, the Viper, the A Press Predator, you name it, man. Cause um, what I know about Rain Yarn, it's like, like he's like you know the new generation, you know, fourth generation that he start, you know, doing some wrestling since from the beginning and why not Randy Orton since like let's start with 2003 or 2004 I totally forgot but I think it started with 2003 when his first time debut for the very young I mean Randy Orton is very young and you know start all, all the little adventures and stuff and you know they enjoyed the 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 evolu the evolution, you know, for Triple H, Batista, and Ray Flair at the same time, of course. But they uh decided they but they decided they split it split up and you know um next you know, Rainy Orton, you know you know, he's doing hell of a good top job until he decided to punk kick somebody in the head when the first time I saw it like I was like wow when I first saw it when John Cena you know with John Cena's dad of course you know Randy Orton punt punt kicked John Cena's dad in the first place I was like wow he really did cross the line man and that was the most greatest rivalry of all time for John Cena and Randy Orton and it's crazy because I've been knowing Randy Orton for like, like I said, man, I've been knowing Randy Orton for like years, man, you know, you know, he's a great world champion for World Heavyweight Championship and WWE Championship. I mean, only I wish that he would have the WWE Universal Championship just one last time, man, just one last time. But he decided he would go to the tag team championship with you know who Matt Riddle, of course. Cause um, I I have to say, it, man, it's not that bad of it until they perform of RK Bro, which is makes sense, cause you know RKO and Bros at the same time. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense, just in case you don't know. It's, um, it's, uh, it's, um, how it start the whole thing of it until, like, you know, <laughs> you know, some guy who's very bubbly and the other guy is very quiet. I'm quiet. He's a bubbly because I was a quiet one one before because you know if I if I would have did that for the first time that would be so cool man because you know I just feel like what I, I actually um knows that what's gonna happen until then so yeah but um but also uh by the way before I talk about the other things Asuka has finally returned to Raw Finally, but I would have I would have time for it, but um, maybe maybe some other time. But 
I'm glad I'm glad I see Asuka once again because you know she's one of my most favorite uh, favorite wrestler of all time and I have to say um, I'm so glad to see her again and yeah man I just hope that if Asuka gets the chance to get the um, the WWE World Women Championship from Bianca that'd be so cool man because you know maybe one less time for it because I know I know some of going to get you know retired and of course it has to be Randy Orton cause I know Randy Orton's getting old you know just one less time for the Universal or WWE of course because I know for a fact what's going to happen is that Cody Rowe is going to get you know who Roman Reigns, of course. What what it should happen sooner or later? Cause I believe that Cody Rhodes is gonna win the WWE Championship. If not, then it's gonna be it's gonna get suck entirely, of course. So, but also, <laughs> but let's continue. Randy Orton punk kick still continue to punk kick somebody. He punt kicked the boss, Vince McMahon, when it should have happened in the first place. Then we got Triple H, you know, a real, real feud. Like, it's real personal for Ray New Orleans versus tri Triple H, of course, because he didn't get the ch he get he didn't get the uh, chance to win the WWE Championship for real, for real. And if it, if it would get the chance to it, just in case, so, yeah, but, um, but, yeah, but also, um, when, when I know about Ray Newman for a long time, man, I just, uh, when I saw the RKO for millions of times, man, I, I mean, I would gladly if Randy Orton would teach me how to like do the RKO's and punch kick at the same time because I would love to have that because you know I always a big fan of Randy Orton whether he face or a heel doesn't matter man because I will always want to carry you know his moves the next level because you know I always want to do this for Randy Orton even though if he if he was retired then I would be honored to have one of his moves so like hey Randy I will do a tribute for you if you let me use the RKO's and the punk kick I like yeah go ahead go ahead but you gotta be careful though you don't want to like try to injure your opponent like that. That would be very consequential. I mean, I would like like I would add I would ask Randy Orton about that move because um you know I always love that you know the jumping cutter of course like it's better than that because it has more impact for it and effects to it just in case. If I would love to carry that move for let's just say. Let's say for a long time, just in case. So, <laughs> so yeah. So that's how that's how the whole thing started. And um, oh yeah. Uh, Rain or Rain or this is Daniel Bryan. It was still one of the great matches. Um, I had to go back and like watch it once again for WrestleMania. <laughs> and um. You know, in case you don't know, uh, Daniel Bryan, you know, been like a very the underdog of of how this one started, and um, I have to say, um, when I when I know that was going to be a big moment for Daniel Bryan, Randy Orton, I thought it's going to be. Daniel Bryan does Randy Orton at WrestleMania, but I guess not because they added Batista in it too. So it quite makes sense because you know 
that's how the whole thing was started, man. And you got Randy Orton versus Seth Rollins, you know, RKO in midair, you know, counter the curse on the RKO in midair. Like, that was amazing. That's what I like about that move, man, the RKOs, because it actually helps me a lot sometimes when I. When I want to become a wrestler, I would love to learn um, the jumping cutter or the RKO, of course. Well, I want to steal the name, but we was going to say jumping cutter because it actually helps me a lot some time if we would have effect to it. So, yeah. And, you know, um, it would be great because um, if I ever, like like I said, man, if I, like, if I want to become the wrestler, I would, I would probably going to do this for Randy Orton. Because even though if he's going to retire soon, at least have a one more time title match. One more time. Or at least, I hope so, man. But, um, but yeah, man, that's, <laughs> that's part of my story, man. You know, I mean, I hope. I, mean, I hope that uh, Randy Orton or wa um, are watching this, man. You know, Randy Orton, I was your biggest fan until then, man. You know, I mean, I hope you become a future Hall of Fame sooner or later. I hope so. But yeah, man, um, I'm gonna watch it. Y'all gonna see react to it. So yeah, man. And five, four, three, two. So Randy, I have a surprise Link's for you. Links are switching out below. So for a yeah, I know, I know. This man wanted to come out. He says you're a mentor to him. It is a surprise. He's a second generation superstar. I know you're a third generation. He oh, looks up to you third as a generation, my, leader. My bad. And he even said Shit. you guys were friends. So Knoxville. Let me introduce to you the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Please. Oh. In case you don't know, Cody Rhodes was fired a member of the Legacy. I totally forgot. It gave me. I'd say this is a good surprise, wow. Riddle. No shortage of history between Cody Rhodes and Randy Orton. Well, it's some legacy vibes. A kind of respect between these two superstars. Wow. Not easy to make a viper smile. Absolutely oh, not, but man. This is not just any night. It's been a long time, man. Where's Sam DiBiase? Oh, wait, he got the... Oh. Step well, on. isn't this cute? <laughs> I forgot about him. <laughs> Don't... Trust him, Randy. Don't trust Cody Rhodes. No, no, no. He's not out here to show you love. He's out here to try to steal your spotlight, just like he tried to steal my spotlight at WrestleMania. I want to let you in on a little secret, Mr. Nightmare. Not everything is about you. <laughs> Tonight, specifically, is about Randy Orton, baby, yeah! I dressed up in my finest suit for the occasion to celebrate 20 years of Randy Orton. What a career, 20 years.
look like a broke ass Green Ranger suit. <laughs> A broke ass Green Ranger in suit. <laughs> if you don't know, <laughs> link to the description down below in the original video. You know what I'm talking about, man. You, if you know, you know, man. <laughs> I dressed up in my finest suit for the occasion to celebrate 20 years of Randy Orton. What a career! 20 years in the past. Call a spade a spade, Randy. Your best years are behind you. You may be the past of WWE, but you are not the present. You are not the future of WWE, and neither are you. Uh, the next generation of WWE superstars, they're not going to be inspired by a nightmare or a brew or a viper they're gonna be inspired by a visionary a revolutionary they're gonna be inspired by seth freaking rollins okay. excuse me uh, excuse me uh, i'm uh, i'm sorry to interrupt that's uh, really not you. my thing i just thought you know as one of the newer superstars around here now would be a great time for me to say congratulations and to introduce myself. I'm Ezekiel. I'm Elias' younger brother. In case you don't know, I totally forgot about the, the whole Ezekiel thing. I did not know. <laughs> but when I was looking at the... on Instagram or Facebook, I did not know that Elias, uh, uh, that was Elias' brother, which I thought it would make sense. I don't know, <laughs> but it got me so confused. Like, what? Who the hell is Ezekiel? <laughs> like, like I thought it was Ezekiel. What's that other guy? Uh, let me let me check. I uh, Ezekiel. Ezekiel Jackson, Ezekiel, Ezekiel Jackson, man, cause, um, I like, wait, I like, I, I like, I got confused, so like, wait, is that Elias or Ezekiel, cause, it, like, I, I'm trying to figure out what the hell is going on, man, like, I get, I get so damn confused about it, I'm like, what, like, is that Ezekiel or Elias, I'm like, what the hell, are they, are they like twin brothers or something? I just, I don't know. Like, like it got me so confused. Like, what the hell is going on, man? But it sucks once again. It does, it doesn't bring out Triple H and um, uh, Ric Flair and Batista, cause you know, three of them, three of them, I believe they retire. I, I guess that's how. But um, damn, it is what it is, man. But that's okay. I'm Ezekiel. I'm Elias' younger brother. Like, I'm still confused about the light. And, and I, I gotta tell you, I will never forget me and my brother watching you on TV just dominating as the legend killer. I mean, it, it was, it was, yeah, I mean, no, it was, it was no, like that. no, 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 liar! He's a liar! That is a lie! Okay? I can't stand hey, back there! And let him lie to your face like that, Randy. He talks like Elias. He sounds like Elias. Cause that's Elias, okay? <laughs> Listen, Randy, Randy. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? What the fuck? What's going on? I'm confused. He's not to talk about the lies! He's not to sell my lies! That's the lies! <laughs> I'm 
forgot about the storyline because this whole thing was confused. Like, what the fuck is going on? What what in the world is going on about, about the storyline? I mean, <laughs> I mean, I don't have to agree on Kevin Owens because I don't know, is that Elias or Ezekiel? I, I, <laughs> like, what is going on, man? Can somebody, can somebody explain to me what the hell is going on, man? Please, <laughs> comment down below, man. Let me know. I, okay, I can't stand back there and let him lie to your face like that, Randy. He talks like Elias. He sounds like Elias. Cause that's Elias, okay? <laughs> Listen, Randy, Randy, are you going to let this guy lie to you tonight of all night? No, 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 okay? He's lying to you. That's the way you pay tribute to Randy Orton. You're a disgusting piece of trash, you know that? You, you know, I can't take it. You know what? You know what? Yeah, you passed the lie detector test last week. But you know what? I'm going to figure out how you did it. I don't know how you did it, but I'm going to figure it out. Because I'm the only one who still stays right here. I'm the only one who still stays right here. And I'm like, what? 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 Celebration, man. I don't know your type of passion. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, Long, hey Jay, man. do you have a favorite Randy Orton moment? Yes, I do. Check this out though. You see, we used to watch you when we was right here. Where we at now? Now we watching you when we right here. What's that favorite moment, Oz? When we beat you at WrestleMania, your backlash and unify these tag team championship and solidify our legacy as the best damn tag team in the world. Cause you're the twos and we the ones. I wish you more promo of, um, Hold on, gentlemen, hold on. Hold it right there, please, gentlemen, if you will. Oh. Before we tarnish this celebration, I want to make something perfectly clear. You will be in action tonight, but it will be in the form of the biggest match that I can make tonight okay. here on Raw. A tag team match. So allow me to make it official. In commemoration of Randy Orton's 20th anniversary, Seth freaking Rollins, you will team with Kevin I don't Owens why keep and the freaking Usos. Freaking Rollins. I mean, Seth freaking Rollins. To take on Cody Rhodes 
Ezekiel and RK Bro. What a main event. I'm digging that call. That's gonna be huge. Right now, tensions are starting to boil over in the middle of the ring. Oh, it started early. Oh, yeah. One last time. One last time at RQ. Back and off. Oh, that's a little preview of what's to come later on tonight. Wow. <laughs> Yo, that's a great one. That was a great one, man. I, uh, that was, I think it's gonna be great, man. I didn't even feel like watching it on USB once again or anything. <laughs> but uh, I have to say, man, um, it's great to see. It's great to see uh, Radio Art uh, in a 20, 20 year anniversary. And I have to say, man. Um, only my favorite moment is just seeing the RKO's, man. Just seeing RKO like like a billion times, man. Like like in midair. I mean, it's my favorite part, man. My favorite part, uh, when when I remember from 2010, my brother showed me uh when Randy Orton RKO Evan Bourne. In midair, while he was doing the, you know, the airborne, I was like, "Wow!" I was like, "What?" The whole thing was shocking, cause I never seen anything like that before. I never seen that nobody ever pulled that move before, man. Like, like it was crazy. Like, that's why, that's why I like about uh, Randy Orton, man, cause he always gets like a, like, like he's trying to wait for it a moment, like he's trying to wait for it to let it happen. Like, I'm like, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, here we go. Boom! <laughs> that's why. That's why I like about. Um, that's why I like about this move, man. It's like, it's like you know, it's like when you play basketball and you know, and you slam dunk that boy at the same man. That's that's the only thing I like about it, man. Cause you know, that's the only reason I want to like use that move because it's it's one of my favorites, man. It's one of my favorites. Ever since, you know, Johnny H used that move for for a long time ago. And then we got and then we cut to um Di uh Dallas Diamond uh, da uh Dallas uh, uh sorry Diamond Dallas Page. Yeah, Diamond Dallas Page and um what else what else? And and then Radio Orton. Then Radio Orton because you know that's why I love. That's why I would have loved to use that move because I would love to do this for Randy Orton. I mean, I would love to do this Randy Orton because you know I and I, I have to say, man, because you know that's the only reason why I. Um, that's the only reason why I only watch it because Randy Orton because he's one of my favorite, my favorite wrestler of all times, man. And also, I'm glad Asuka Asuka returns because um, I only I only wish that he that she would gladly challenge uh, Bianca Belair for the WWE Walls Women's Championship. I wish it would happen. We don't know, but I think it'll happen on uh, WrestleMania Backlash, or we have to wait till Money in Bank or SummerSlam. I don't know, y'all. I'll make a vote, man. Y'all make a vote for it just in case because we don't want to see Becky Lynch, you know, compete for the Raw Women's Championship because it, I, let's hope, let's hope it doesn't happen once again because we want to see Asuka versus Bianca Belair because that'd be so cool because, you know, I would love to see this whole dream match of Asuka versus uh, Bianca Belair because that'd be so cool. But, yeah, I think that's gonna be it for today. Uh, let me know, comment down below. What is your favorite Randy Orton moment from from elsewhere? Let me know, man, because you know I will gladly watch all the Randy Orton's um matches and set makes for it because you know 
like I said, man, Randy Orton is one of my favorite wrestlers. From face to heel, it doesn't matter because, you know, you run into both from face and heel at the same time because, you know, Randy Orton is like being himself, you know. Like, he likes to RKO somebody. It makes me want to RKO as well. Me wanna, maybe want to RKO my brother. Because <laughs> that's how I started. That's how I started, um, you know, wanted to be a wrestler, man. Because, you know, me and my brother, we used to have some fun sometimes, but we actually got ourselves hurt. <laughs> while we was wrestling. While we was wrestling while we were, uh, we was kids, man. Like, man, I miss. Me, yeah, I miss being a kid, but I guess not. But yeah, so I think I think that's gonna be it for today. Um, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. If you're new here, click the bell notification down below. And sorry, once again, I'm late, but don't worry. Maybe next time I will try to take a break for some while. But I'll t I'll tell y'all next time. But yeah, but um, but yeah, man, I'll see y'all. Whatever.